In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a dotted line for the grid line directly connected on the Y scale. So to do this, the first thing what I want to do is get our boiler template, which you can find here on chartgs3.com getting started. This specific link here, once you're on here, copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to get the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page. And of course, got a question, join the Discord channel. All the links and invites are in the description box. So what I'm going to do here first is play around with the scale. So I'm going to scroll down here on the Y scale. And in the Y scale, I'm going to say a comma. And then what I want to do here is I'm going to say here, I want to work with the border. So the grid line is connected to the border. And because of that, that it's how it's structured. So we're going to say here, first of all, display false. If I do this and I save this, what will happen is this line here will disappear, but you will see another line here. There's two lines here, basically. So if I refresh here, there you are. You might notice now it's lighter now. This line here, which is the second line, is basically connected to the X scale grid line. So that's an X scale grid line related item. So what I want to do now is I want to have this here all the way dotted because all of these that are connected to the Y scale border are connected on the horizontal, horizontal level. So what I'm going to do now is the following. I'm going to say a comma and I want to put in here a dash. So we're going to say a dash and this will be six pixels solid and then six pixels in white space. If I save this, refresh, as you can see here, and let me just change the color to make sure that the color is clear. But for that, I need to go into grid because we're going to now assign the color for the grid. Well, the dash here has the assignment of the grid for the dash. I don't know why they did that structure. It doesn't make sense. But anyway, that's how it is. So I'm going to say a color, this will be red, so you can see it nice and clear. There you are. And as you can see here, we can control anything here. So for example, we would like to start this red here, or we want the white space here. What we can do is an offset. So what I'm going to do here, comma, I'm going to say a dash offset. And then we can just say here, the dash offset will be six pixels. So what will happen is, it will make first six pixels of white space, and then it will start to draw like that. So it moves away a few pixels from the border. So what about the tick mark here? For that one, we need to go into the grid as well. So we're going to say comma. And then here for the grid, we're going to say a tick border dash. And what we can do here is, for example, one pixel in white, or sorry, one pixel solid and then one pixel white space. By doing that, we have these dotted lines here. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. There you are. Or else what we could do is here, maybe two pixels, and then we have five pixels white space. And you will see that it will change the pattern a little bit. After five pixels, it will have again a, a pattern repeating. And now you can do this. If you would do a dotted line, we can just say here, offset maybe one and one. So we have a nice dotted line from beginning all the way to the end. And there we are, and that's it.